Today's GCSC maths question actually went viral. In 2015, this question went all over social media and across all the news with students noting that it was very difficult. There are N sweets in a bag. Six of them are orange, the rest are yellow. Hannah takes a sweet at a random from the bag and then she takes a second sweet. Well, given that the probability that she eats two orange sweets in a row is one over three. And we need to show that this expression here is true. As always with math questions, we have to start with the fundamentals. What is the probability that Hannah will take an orange sweet initially? Well, there are six of them in a bag full of n sweets, so the probability of that will be, well, 6 over n. If there were n sweets before, after she's taken the orange, there's going to be n take away 1 sweets left. And how many orange sweets are there going to be? Well, they're going to be 5. So the probability of the second event, Hannah taking a second orange sweet in a row, will be given by 5 divided by n minus 1. And remember the probability of both of those events occurring will be given by this probability multiplied by the second one. The question says that this probability is equal to a third. And now all we need to do is some algebra. So 6 times 5, this is going to give me 30. Now in the denominator I can just multiply those two numbers, so what I'm going to get is n times n take away 1, which is going to give me n squared, take away n times minus 1 is just minus n, and this here will be equal to a third. And now I'm just going to use some cross multiplication, so I'm going to say that 30 times 3, which is 90, will be given by n2 minus n times 1, so 90 will be n squared take away n. So, so from that, our expression n squared take away n take away 90 will be equal to 0 by some rearranging. What you should look at next is this question that many students did not even attempt at a GCSE maths paper this video is right over here.